Okay, in this episode, we are going to learn about how to overload a constructor in a Java program. So, like a method, you can also overload a constructor. So, you can uh, get the idea very clear from this example. So, here I am going to create a class called uh, box. So, we need to find out the volume for this box. So, we need three variables double height width and depth okay so we have to find out the volume for this box so public double get volume okay and here create a double value here double variable here volume equal to height into width into depth okay so now we have to initialize these three variables so before uh, we have to return this result return uh, return volume okay and now we have to initialize these three variables height width and depth so for that here I'm going to use a constructor so create a constructor for this class now initialize these variables so we need three arguments here uh, double height double width and final one double depth okay now here I am going to make the initialization so this dot height equal to height this dot depth equal to depth and the final one uh, this dot width equal to width okay so now now here I am going to create an object for this class the class name is box so create an object box name it as box equal to new box and specify three values three height is three and width is two and depth is 4 okay now find out the volume system.out.println volume for box equal to uh, we can simply call the volume method using this object so box dot get volume okay suppose here we have to pass three values for the constructor because the constructor need three double arguments suppose here we have to find out the volume of the cube volume of a cube in the case of a cube the value for height depth and width are same that means the value for the height depth and width are same so in that case uh, if the box is a volume using the same constructor you have to pass the same volume three times because this constructor contain three arguments suppose you want to pass only one value for a cube that means all the dimensions for the cube are same in the in such case you need to override this constructor so here I'm going to override this constructor with a different signature double length so here in this case the value for height value for height and depth and width all are same 
so this is called the constructor overloading here we use the same constructor but with a different signature on the first case there is three arguments are present but in the second case there is, there is only one single argument is present this is called constructor overloading so in the case of a cube we have to create another object for cube box I name it as cube equal to new box with only one argument say uh, 2.5 okay now we have to find out the volume of the cube so copy this statement volume for cube equal to box dot get volume instead of box we have to use the second object cube okay now we can check the program clear the output run the program here is the volume of box 24 and volume of cube 15.625 so this is how we overload a constructor i hope you enjoy this video thank you for watching see you in the next episode